Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Chris, this is Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on YouTube and on Instagram. And Kathy has a haul to share with you guys. And I think, I don't remember how many different stops this is. I was with you on one of these because I remember you got that new Goodwill bag. Yeah, uh, so this, I think these two were our date night on Friday, which is like 19 or 20 bags. I don't really remember either. <laughs> so I think this was one or two other stops just randomly yesterday. Okay. And I took some stuff to storage and I was like, I'm already out, might as well go to the thrift. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I feel like I found some good stuff on our date night one. So just jump in. <laughs> I found something good too. You'll What's get it. <laughs> we'll have oh, to yeah, see it when, yeah, I, when I we get it. <laughs> I was like, what'd you find? All right, um, these are Eileen Fisher booties. <laughs> So now that's what, three Eileen Fisher shoes like that I've sold with or found within like a week or so. That's crazy. After yeah. I say I've never found it, which actually these are random things that I've already sold that never made it to storage because they're going to be in our weekend what's sold, but one of them is the Eileen Fisher sandals. So the sandals sold for like 40. I want to say these, I mean, these aren't in amazing condition, but. Spoiler sure, alert. At least 40, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So nice. probably closer to 50 or so on those. Uh, these are some Sorrel. I feel like I found a bunch of Sorrel this day. These are nice little heeled booty. Um, I won't bore you with all the sizes, but usually Sorrel. I mean, these are in great shape. I want to say I can probably get like 80 for these. Um, they yeah. look really nice. Yeah, those are in great shape. And then these are also Sorrel in great shape. I mean, I did pay up for these, well, like 15 bucks a pair, but that's obviously worth it. Um, yeah. I'm looking for the size that I'm not going to tell you. So these are cute, though, just like a little slip on, kind of like a hidden wedge, almost like a Chelsea boot, but also like a sneaker. So I don't know on those. Maybe I mean, they're not, you know, the leather ones usually go for a little bit more. But yeah, this one, I mean, maybe it's a nice 60 looking. to 80. So. Uh, I only have my bag on the floor, so I can have one. We've already given this guy his... T R E A T, so he's gonna go sleep it off. <laughs> um, these are Picolinos, which I love this brand. It usually does pretty well. These aren't in like amazing condition. They got a little bit of heel drag, but I thought they were like a cool Oxford. Yeah. Um, yeah, these should probably go for, I wanna say at least like 40. So this stop was kind of pricey. What did we get? Yeah, 19 pairs for $2.41 because a lot of the swirls were like $15. Okay. Um, but those are all going to go for $50 plus. So, so it's at like $12, $13 a pair roughly? or? No, I can't do that. It's <laughs> <laughs> off of my head. Um, this is what Chris found. So, Check them out. Yeah, some Pel is it Peloton or Peloton? I've heard it. Both I've ways. heard it both <laughs> <ways>. <laughs> yeah. Uh, So yeah, these basically look new. So size 45. So got some paper in them. Yeah. So I think you were saying the comps like what, 50 or so? Yeah, I mean, comps were a little bit all, all, all over the place, new with box, you know, pretty pretty good pricing, 80, 70, 80 bucks. Um, I don't know if we were gonna call these new without box, but right. they look yeah. pretty new. Um, so used without like the little cleats on the bottom, 40, 35, 40 bucks, so. I'm probably gonna buy some kind of Yeah, no, they're, and that was in used condition, so. Okay. So this is that same stop still. I thought these were a nice pair of dance go. Um, probably 40 to 50. I want to say like 50 on those. A couple of the dance goes that I showed in the last haul, and I think someone even mentioned, you could probably get like 70 or something for that one pair. Then when I looked up comps, they were like going for 70. I had a pair of booties and then like a, just a cute meal, and both of those comps seemed pretty well. So nice. the dance goes that aren't the typical clog seem to do a lot better. Uh, these are Talbots, which is kind of not something I would normally pick up, but they're in like great shape. And honestly, Talbots retails for a lot, and this leather feels really nice. Mm -hmm. And they weren't all that expensive, so I figured I'd give them a try. I think I can get at least 40 for them. These, I do like to sell this brand, but it's it doesn't usually sell super fast or anything, and I wasn't really sure about this style, but they're women's 12, basically like new trotters, so we'll see. Yeah. Uh, I think I can get at least 30 out of them. Yeah, this was on a date night, and we both went there. How long were we there? It was probably 45 less, minutes. Yeah, less than an hour because we had dinner reservations. Yeah. So it, it was really fast. So 
a lot of shoes in yeah. a little bit of time. Uh, these are blowfish. Uh, these say size 10, but they seem so big because that's like my size. I don't know. Anyways, they're basically like new without box. I don't think they're a men's tag. I don't know, it says W10, so I don't know if they just look big. I'll have to try them on to see Maybe how big they are. because they just look a little chunky. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm thinking 20 to 25 on those, nothing crazy. Uh, this is another pair of dance go, like a heeled loafer. Um, yeah, probably 40 or so on those. Um, I thought these born were cute because I like slip on mules. Um, I, I really like this color. It's like a burgundy, but also kind of like a rust. So yeah. Like those, probably 30, 35, I would say. These are Teva leather sandals. A little bit dirty on the footbeds, but mostly pretty good. Um, I think I can get at least 30, maybe 35 out of those. Another pair of Madewell boots. Uh, these are, you can see a little bit worn on the toes and stuff, but really, really nice leather booty. So mm -hmm. I grabbed them, size nine. I wanna say at least 50, even still. This is a brand that I just like discovered last week. I want to say I found a pair and then I found another pair. It's weird how like that happens. Yeah. That's why I've never seen this before because I would have noticed them. But it's Flofers. <laughs> <laughs> so I was going to say, are these like driver Crocs? <laughs> yeah, they're basically like water shoes, but loafers. Yeah. So okay. anyways, uh, they only retail for, I want to say like 60 to 70, but I was seeing pre-owned comps around 30 or so and the sell through was decent. So. The other pair I have listed already, they haven't sold yet, but yeah. Get your floating <laughs> loafers here. I'm not going to call them a bolo or anything, but you know, if you're out picking up shoes, yeah. you can probably make a few bucks off those. Uh, another pair of Sorrel, these are like a little rain boot, rain booty. Um, like a patent leather, and that's yeah, neat. I've never really sold this style, so I'm not sure. I want to say at least probably 50. More Sorrel. I like this style. These are a very small size though, so I'm not sure how they're gonna do. I think they're five or five and a half, but I mean, I've sold this style from like 80 to 110, wow. but usually in like more of a women's eight, nine, 10 size. So we'll see how a women's five does, but yeah, I love those. Uh, these are Skechers and men's just like a sports handle. So probably 30 or so on those. But yeah, right. Chris did actually fix a bunch of shoes for me yesterday. And yeah. I use really that nice. new barge yeah. glue, which I can speak for. It works pretty good. You just yeah. gotta apply it both sides, just like a standard contact cement, let it dry, and then kind of like, you know, hammer it, like pound it in place. Reese's doing something funny. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Are you interrupting the video? Like putting his whole tummy to the air and like yawning. <laughs> All it's right. like, these guys just never shut up. <laughs> um, men's sketchers, just basic clip on. These usually go around 30 and they're a wide fit, so. Sweet. Yeah. And this was a new to me brand, but I could just tell that they were nice quality. Let me know if you've heard of it. It's Han, Hanweg. And then we noticed that they were Gore-Tex. Um, they are missing their insoles and a little bit dusty, but I wanted to take a chance because I could just tell yeah. they were nice. There's not a whole lot of comps listed or sold, so they could sit a while, but like, I don't think it's a super well-known brand. Right. I'm assuming um, I did see a retail on these was like $260. Wow. So that was pretty crazy. Um, I don't know what to expect. I'm right. hoping like maybe like 50, but we'll see. Um, they're women's eight, so. Were we thinking these were more European? What did it, I was looking up their website and it did have like a whole history. Is Where's Munich? Munich, Germany. Okay, Yeah. so that, I think that's where it originated. So. Yeah, German or Bavarian or something like that, right? Yeah. yeah. So. So yeah, and I remember picking those up and I was like, man, I've never heard of these. So I put them right back right. down. And then Kathy was like, oh, these are cool. I was like, they look nice, so. Yeah. All right, so yeah, that was all our date night stop. And then yesterday I went to two stores right near each other. One was Goodwill, which I paid 93.72 for nine pairs. So just over 10 bucks a pair. Um, Some wrestling yeah. shoes. <laughs> Always got to find some wrestling shoes every yeah. week. Those usually go for 30 pretty easily. These ones I paid up a little bit for, but the pair that I've sold have done really well. The clove nursing sneaker. Mm. Um, I thought that was cool that they have these. They were a bigger size. Women's 11 or men's nine and a half. So I think at least 50 probably on those. That other pair I sold went for like 70 something. 
Um, just some Under Armour slides, probably 20 to 25. Beezies. Beezy slide usually can get around 30 or so on those. Okay. Love my little play shoes. <laughs> um, those should go for 25 or so. These are... Oh, this was when I went when we went to Pueblo for your dad's. Oh yeah, thing. my dad had invited us for uh, get together yeah, barbecue. So I guess it was three different or four different stuff. Yeah, because this was yeah Saturday night. So these are a Bayo uh, booty. So I've sold their sandals quite a bit recently, but the booties I don't find a whole lot. I think I can get at least forty out of those. Um, some Merrill slides. Uh, usually probably about 30 or so. These were cool. <laughs> so I've seen other people sell these. I've never found them. So they're basically like the the Vibram Five Fingers, but these are called the <laughs> Ferocious, whatever that word is. Tilt it more towards me. Uh, Ferocious. <laughs> I guess. Okay. So. They look like this, and yeah. So like a barefoot kind of, like a, okay. Yeah. Uh, so I think these sell a little bit better, or like for more than the, the five than the fingers. Finger? Yeah. I mean, I've never seen them, so I feel like they yeah. must be less common, right? I think so. And these, I'm giving them a shot, but like the size tag. The other ones usually say it on the bottom, but I don't see it on the bottom at all here. And one of them is completely faded, and the other side, it looked like it's like printed here. Mm. I can kind of see it on this one, so I'm taking a chance. So yeah, I guess be uh, careful with yeah, the size. Yeah, make sure you can see the size. Like I can tell it says Euro 41 and then like the UK size. So I'll just look at their size chart to compare that I'm correct. Yeah. Um, but and size 41 is like the same size that I would wear. So I'll just try them on and make sure. But yeah, yeah, always check that you can find a size. And then just some kids Choco usually go for around 30. Sweet. Yeah. Not a bad run. We do like that Goodwill down in Pueblo. Oh, we just yeah. don't a get to make it down there too much. The price up like forty dollars plus. Yeah. But yeah. Alright. What's up? These are actually something I bought for myself. Chris grabbed the stuff from the car and <laughs> I put these in there in case I ever go bowling, which I don't a lot, but I do like bowling, so I gifted myself some bowling shoes for nine bucks, so that's pretty cool. Sweet. Go try them out soon. Yeah. Um, what was this? Okay, apparently at the Goodwill I only found four pairs. It is a warm day. Oh. <laughs> I think he's trying to lay on the cold ground. Uh, 43.14 for the four pairs at the Goodwill, which these Dr. Scholl's, I mean, these were like 30% off of seven. That's the only reason I grabbed them. I can probably get 25 to 30. These were the best find, Loa. Loa, oh, great 15. brand. Yeah, so these are really nice leather. Are these Gore-Tex? I don't know, I always think Loa They're They are Vibram. Yeah, I don't see, but I think these are probably a good, I wanna say $80. Yeah. So those are awesome. Even, even in that kind of dusty state, we're, yeah. we're not gonna be cleaning it or anything, right? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, these I will throw in the wash, just some Nike. Flex runs usually can get about 30 out of those. I'll pull the rocks out of the bottom. And then at the Goodwill, this was the last pair. These were priced at 20, just Skechers, but white was half off. So I got these mm. for 10. They are the arch fit ones. Okay. Um, I think I can get around 35, maybe even 40 out of these because they're in great shape and they have the arch fit. So, yeah. Very nice. Like and the last stuff was just at our local ARC thrift store. Looks like 14 pairs for 113.56. So a lot of it lower, but a lot of them are kitchen. So that's why. Yeah, you got to go sourcing on, this was on Father's Day, wasn't <laughs> yeah. it? Which well, is fun. like, I'm not saying that as, <laughs> the boys and I were playing Minecraft. We got to play for a few hours, which they don't never like happens. They up here because they want all the lights out. And I'm like, what am I gonna do up here with no lights on? So yeah. I'm just like, I'll just go take some stuff to storage, go to. Yeah. Go to the thrift. So. Got to have some father time with the yeah. kids. So it's, <laughs> it was good. And you made some money while we're at it, basically. So, uh, Cute little Timberlands. Those are cute. Yeah. So these I can usually get 25 to 30 out of, even though they're just little baby shoes. Um, some Crocs. Kids size. One. Usually 20 
20, 25 out of those. And these are Crocs. Just basic, but 25 to 30. Crocs. Yeah. Some Saludos. These are kind of basic. I almost left them, but they were in great shape. So I was like, I'll take a chance. I sold, I mean, I've sold a few pairs of these recently, not this exact style, but yeah, for like in the $30 range. So I'm hoping for around 30 on those. Um, these are interesting. So I knew, which is a brand I love, but these are almost like a five finger or something. Like they're almost, or like- This is like Ninja. Like, yeah, I don't know what exactly they're for. It says Blake Brody. Nail, I wonder if I those are from martial arts or something. I feel like yeah, it could be. this is like like the ninja toe kind of thing. Right. So I don't know, but um, I didn't see a whole lot of comps on these. And honestly, the ones I did see weren't great. And these were only three bucks. So yeah. I took a chance. They might only go for like 20, but I just thought they were so interesting. <laughs> Let us know. You guys familiar with that? Because yeah, I feel like that could be like athletic or it could just be for, I don't know. Yeah. Weird. Like that five finger. Like, right. Is there really any benefit to the five finger shoes? Five toe shoes? Uh, I mean, people that like barefoot shoes, I think. I mean, I, I get, there's I just, something I, to barefoot shoes that like it's better for yeah. your feet to <laughs> just like not wear shoes. And stuff. I get that, I but know. like for the toes to be independent, oh, I, that's what independent I. Independent toes. I yeah. Don't know. Yeah, that's always. I can't do that. I don't. I don't <laughs> think I could. I've never tried yeah. because I don't think I could. <laughs> so. Uh, these are just some Clark's wedges. I think I can get around 30 or so out of those. It's a nice neutral color. Ufos. I always get excited to find Ufos. I've actually sold two pairs yeah. this weekend. so For these, some great value. Yeah, these were only 8 bucks, and I think I can get probably 50 or so out of them. Wow. Uh, these always go for a good amount, usually. These are the Clark's Wallaby. Okay. They're kind of like the ones with the gum soles. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I haven't looked up comps recently, but I want to say I could probably get 50 out of these. Maybe more. Like, the, these are women's, but men's ones seem to do a little bit better. Bolo the Clark's yeah. Wallaby. <laughs> not the wannabe. The Wallaby yeah. gum sole. Yeah. Uh, these are just some cute little salt water. I've never seen this burgundy color before, but I think I can get 20 to 25 out of those. we got some Kid Keen. Usually 25 or so out of those. Nice tie-dye. Yeah, those are cool. More Beezies. Those should probably go for around 30. Got two pairs of these. Oh. Am I scaring him? I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, like Star Wars Javiana. Is this Hav, Hava? I always say Javiana's, but I don't know if that's how you say it. Hava. Hava. <laughs> I don't know. Have a good day. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Tell us how wrong we have been pronouncing this for the past four our kids, years. Our kids could probably, like, <laughs> phonetically put it together better than I can. But anyways, um, yeah, two of those. I I don't know the exact, like, U.S. size because I yeah. don't know. U.S. 3, 4 youth on those. These ones don't seem to, oh, two youth, so. Okay. Yeah, these are three bucks each, but I figured them being Star Wars, they're in great shape. Yeah. These don't usually go for a ton to begin with, but because Star Wars, I'm hoping like 15 to 20, make it like 10 bucks each off of them would be great. Yeah. Um, and they're the, <laughs> they've got, okay, C3P, they got all the droids on it. I was wondering if it was like Baby Yoda or whatever, Grogu. And then this I paid up for just because I was curious and I just wanted to try them out. I think I paid $23, which is a lot. Um, this is the brand. <laughs> Raganic, Raganic. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So they're hundred percent hemp. Uh, the retail was like a hundred seventy nine or something on these. They're in great shape. Hemp's usually a good material that sells well. Yeah. Um, there wasn't a whole ton of sold or listed anywhere on the platforms I was searching. So, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of times I can get at least around half of retail. That'd be awesome. Um, but if I could at least double my money, that'd be great too. Right. And I just wanted to try them because I've never seen them before. And I figured I can't really lose money at 23. So even if I don't make a ton, I learn something, hopefully. Yeah. Now, with you saying that, that they're 100% hemp, it makes me think that it is raw organic, like organic raw. Yeah. I feel like that's kind of, yeah. So, Let us know. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure these are just not a super well known thing. So, right. Why there's not a ton listed or sold, but hopefully. They're one of those things where whoever does like them and know about them is looking out for yeah. them on the resale sites. Yep. We'll see. And there, I'm sure they'll be looking for a deal. So that's nice. We'll go ahead and this is what we're going to be listing this so next few two days, days. Two yeah. days. <laughs> so I've pretty much kept up. I, yeah, I'm up. 
I've done 100 of the both weeks in June so far. Yeah. Um, so and, keeping up. Oh, and we're, our target closing for the new house is the 30th. So we are... We're, it's coming down to the yeah. line. Two weeks. <laughs> Just trying to keep going with what I'm doing, not get yeah. behind. Because honestly, won't, well, yeah, once we start moving, I doubt I'm going to get listings up a ton in July. Because yeah. we're going to be moving and we got a lot to do around this place and that place. So. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of painting. We're going to get a pretty decent paint sprayer because we're going to be painting pretty much that whole house and probably the outside of this house. <laughs> Lots of painting going on. <laughs> Um, and just a lot of house projects going to be coming up. So we're, uh, we're getting ready for that. Going to be moving. And yeah, <laughs> Reese, you've already, I gave him two yeah. treats before we started because but I, it's the end. <laughs> we one. do you think you get one more? You want one more treat? Look at how good he's being. <laughs> good boy. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all of the support, and we will see you guys next time. Bye.